Hey, what's up guys? So now I'm gonna work on the light blue color of the Examinx puzzle. Um, and try to get this face done and all the corresponding edges in the corner. And hopefully this is gonna take under a half an hour because we all know now that my camera splits it up after a half an hour. So with that, I'm going to get started and hopefully we'll be able to uh, make a short video out of this, All right? adjust this camera so you guys can kind of see almost the whole thing I'm gonna try to keep it in view uh, I know I moved it around a lot but hopefully we'll be able to do better this time so let's do this same as before we're just working on the smallest uh, Pentagon that we have to put together happy to say I hit a new strength plateau uh, with my bodybuilding. Um, I now can curl 51 pounds uh, seven times with the right arm with proper form of course. Um, and I did six times with the left. My old strength plateaus were uh, four with the left and six with the right. So I added two reps to the left and one to the right. Which may not seem a lot, but when you get up into those heavy weights like that, it re it's really something. And then I wanted to see if I could lift heavier than that and uh, I ended up curling a 56 pound dumbbell three times with the right and um, two times with the left. And then I pushed it one step further and I did 61 pounds for the right arm and 61 for the left. And I think that's actually where I'm going to stop for a while. Um, matter of fact, I'm not going to do the 61 pounds very often because the thing that people may not understand about lifting weights is that even though your muscles are strong enough to handle a certain weight your joints at your current size and weight are not built for it yet so you should only be lifting a certain percentage per body part of your actual body weight um, if you go above that threshold, you run the risk of injuring your joints or worse, tearing a ligament or injuring, possibly breaking a tendon. So uh, lifting heavy is something that <clears throat> you shouldn't do very often, like not that heavy because that was... That was about, uh, I want to say, 33% of my body weight. And uh, curling 33% of your body weight is probably a little bit too much. So I'm going to keep on working on uh, 45 and 51. And hopefully that alarm didn't just hurt my video. My alarm just went off silently. Uh, that would really upset me. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a lot harder to build muscle when you've been doing it a couple of years. And although I'm de I've been detrained for two years. It's still, you know, hard after you get back into it, you'll, you'll actually see a plateau 
rather quickly, uh, you'll get back up to what you were, and then you, you might build a little bit more strength and size, but after that, it's, it's a really uphill battle. And right now I'm struggling to put a lot more mass on. Um, mainly because I don't know everything about bodybuilding. I mean, I'm not 100% new to it, but there's a lot of things about it that I don't quite know yet. And uh, it really is a science. see here and if you don't uh, don't do it perfectly you know you could you could end up hurting yourself or you know not quite as bad but uh, put your gains backwards so you definitely don't want that <clears throat> tell you guys an excellent YouTuber to follow and subscribe to is Jeff Cavalier. Um, that's not his YouTube name, it's Athlean X. Um, I've learned a lot from him and uh, he's more on the, the strength and uh, safe lifting aspect. Um, I wouldn't really say that he's like the prime example of a top bodybuilder because he's not. But he knows a lot of stuff. And he used to be a really small guy. And he built his body up naturally to a pretty dang good size uh, over the years. And, you know, if you saw him person you would think wow he's a big guy so check him out if you guys want to if you're interested in getting into fitness and bodybuilding another good one is uh, Jeff Nippert Jeff Nippert is uh, he breaks things down uh, very scientifically and uh, he's a great one to uh, subscribe to and Scott Herman Fitness check him out as well they're all pretty good um, they all know what they're talking about and they're all pretty big pretty big guys so um, if you're interested go check them out Right now I'm uh, on the the medium pentagon size, so uh, or no, the large pentagon. My bad. So it's the third one out. Um, there we go. There we go. far we're not making bad time I think we can do this but uh, I'm gonna try to wipe down just a little bit because we all know what happens when I talk too much and then I can't focus so let's just get this video done and yeah like how the colors are starting to uh, look when scrambled. 
keeping a good combination of them, which is why I'm doing them in the order that I am, because I'm, I love the aesthetics of a, a scramble puzzle when it's got the right color combination of scramble. Let me see here. There we go. There's that. Boy, this side might go quicker than, uh, than I thought. We'll have to see. Okay. What's next? Not that. Not that. Well, that's a good one right there. Where's the... Okay. Oops. We'll do that. Yeah. There we go. And then what? Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. Darn. Okay. thought that was going to go. Ah, uh, here's some good spots. Right here. Ooh, turn it around. So here. And then should be able to shuttle that up in there. Yep. Okay. See what we got here now. Ooh, that's almost finished too. That's a good thing. Boy, I hope my alarm didn't uh, cause my recording to cut off. That would make me so upset. <laughs> Especially if I end up going under the 30 minute mark. It'd just be like terrible. Hopefully it's in, you know, a good range for you guys. Um, let's see here. Mm. Where are you? The good thing about having fewer faces left is it does take considerably less time to find the parts that you're looking for so it should cut down theoretically the the saw time there we go there's that i'm looking for okay i can do that right there and then what ah right here that's perfect Pretty much getting close to the what do you call it mark? Uh, the halfway mark, and we're already on to the fourth and final layer of the centers is fantastic yep see just one more to go around there we haven't even reached the halfway mark It'll be a lot of time so we're in good shape um let's see here what do we got that's okay that's a good one right there Another good one. Oh shoot. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Where's the oh shoot. <clears throat> Ooh, that one's almost done too. That's a blessing. So look at that. All right, cool. Guess we got this. Yep. Then what? This. 
go. Oh, that's good. Heck yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh man, I'm moving it off to the side again. My apologies, peeps. It's hard to keep it in the... Because I'm looking down at this and I'm not looking at the camera to see where the viewing aspect is. Okay. Ooh, there we go there. One, two. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a much shorter uh, video than the rest. I think, because we've only hit the halfway mark of the allotted time, and we don't have too much left. Um, ah, there's a good spot right there, and there, Ooh, now we got this too, come on, and this, and Ooh, this, oh yes, this is filling out nicely. Yes. All right, and this. Jeez, we almost filled out a whole row just from one side. That's pretty cool. Um, looks like this guy here will go in. There we go. Oop! Nope. Don't be doing that stuff. Oh, no pops. Oh shoot. Um there we go. There. There. Cool. Got another row done. Oh yeah, this is going by so quickly. Once you got so little faces left, it really really goes by fast. I'll make a couple videos today, but I'm not going to broadcast them until later. It just makes it easier to where I can broadcast, like, every day or close to that for you guys. So, I'll just set them up in a queue of videos to, uh, make see here where is it oh there you are okay that works now what that yep that's a good one too just got what one left yep and there you are oh yes okay cool should have only one one straight row for this blue side yeah have the edges in the, the corner okay so what we got here this and this they're all pretty much on this face yeah okay so this should be an easy 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 last row of solves This free real estate to work with on this puzzle. I don't have to worry about really screwing anything up on accident because everything in that row that you're turning is already scrambled, so you can just pair things up pretty easily. yellow face I know I saw or the orange face my bad there we go and this should be it for the light blue centers and we are 
yeah, there we go. The light blue centers are done. Now I just gotta do this, and that'll be the end of the video. So let's do it. <clears throat> I see a gray and blue right here. And a gray and blue right there. Where's my gray? Oh, there's another one there too. Wow. Let's just get them all on the, kind of the same face. Try to anyway. Uh huh. There's that, 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 and that. I just gotta. Let's put them on this face actually. Because. Yeah, that'll be easier to manipulate them because it's free real estate there we go okay I just gotta find ooh and there it is too that's perfect These green and blues are gonna be done in no time gained six subscribers last month so that was really cool I'm up to 12 now which is pretty pathetic but you know I just started my YouTube channel uh, broadcasts again I was broadcasting a lot of singing videos and things before but they didn't get a lot of hits and uh, kind of sad but I don't chalk it up as my inability to sing or whatever. It's just maybe people don't like the style I sing or they may not like the actual sound of the or timbre of my voice, tone quality. Um, or YouTube is just terrible at promoting new videos. Like they promote all the videos of people who, you know, get millions of views. So, new creators just don't get promoted. Let's see here. Or not even new creators, but just new videos created don't get promoted. Which seems like there should be like a, a spot in the recommended for you know, new creative videos or whatever, there should be older video, an older video section and then a, a, a new video section for the recommended. They don't do it that way. They just focus on uh, what do you call it? Creators with millions of views. Just like, they don't really need, I mean, yeah, their channel needs to grow too, but shoot it they don't need to only promote those people they really should promote new creators but that's how they stop from having to pay people I get it they don't want to have to pay people so they would just rather promote those who they know are at least going to get some views which that's really ironic because you would think that they would want to promote those who don't get much views because they're not going to have to pay them that much. And it looks to me here, after I pair up this corner with the edge, that we are done. Yes. Yep. So there you have it, folks. Blue, gray, beige, pink, 
and lime green are all done. So, hopefully, like I said, it didn't cut the video off because of the alarm. I'm thinking it did, but you never know. It might not have. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you soon.